Hi, and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial from Someone9031. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys uh, about constructors and deconstructors in C++. So constructors and deconstructors are uh, both things that we talked about in uh, tutorial 19 and 20, the basic classes, but we never went into detail, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, so the code that I'm working with right here is the same code, the same rectangle class that we wrote in tutorial 19 and 20 um, with the addition of this uh, color enumeration and this color variable and the get color and set color methods. And the code within main is exactly the same as before. So yeah, let's get started. Um, basically what a constructor is, is a member function of a class that is called whenever an object or instance of that class is created. So when we declare this rectangle object down here, rectangle R, we uh, create a new rectangle object, so we call the constructor. It, uh, the constructor is automatically called, and the constructor never has um, a return value, not even void. Like, you can't have a void uh, constructor. And the reason for that is because a constructor is called automatically. Um, so if it did, did return a value, there would be nowhere to store that value because you cannot call a constructor manually. You cannot just go down and say r dot uh, rectangle and then just call that constructor. You can't do that because the constructor can only be called uh, automatically when the class is created. So here we have our very simple constructor that takes no arguments and just sets everything to zero. So that is like basically as simple as constructors can get. And uh, every class must have a constructor and a deconstructor. And if you don't provide that constructor and deconstructor, C++ will automatically give you a default constructor and deconstructor. And the default constructor basically just goes and sets every uh, member variable to uh, its equivalent of zero. And the reason we need constructors is uh, basically just for that reason, because um, we don't want our variables to have an invalid uh, and illegal uh, value stored within them. So if you went and used, tried to use length, and it went length plus plus, and it was just some random code that was just left at that uh, memory area, then we'd be like just do, doing something weird. So that's why we need constructors. Now, just like any other functions, uh, any other function, a constructor can be overloaded. So we can have other uh, uh, constructors within our rectangle class. Say we could have one uh, that took a double and another double for uh, the side lengths or length and width. And then we can have another one that took a double, another double, and a color. So that sets everything. Now down here, we can declare these. So when you declare it, um, you just go like this. And then double uh, L, double width, and then double, and then long. OK. And then now length equals L. So we can go like that. That's uh, one of our versions of the constructor. And then we can have another version, our other one, rectangle, that takes double length, double width, and color C. So basically, it's the same as before, equals L. W, and then color equals C. So now we have three overloaded versions of our constructor, one that takes no arguments, one that takes two doubles, or length and width, and one that takes two doubles and a color. So now when we go down to create um, a rectangle object, we have three constructors to choose from. We can either initialize our object to zero by calling the, def uh, by calling the constructor that takes no arguments, um, 
or we can have the one that, that takes a double and the one that takes uh, no sorry the one that takes two doubles and the one that takes two doubles and a color now you should know that uh, whenever you uh, create an object by calling the constructor with no arguments then you do not put the two parentheses afterwards like you're calling a function like if you have to call a function that has no arguments you just have to put the parentheses so they know you're talking about a function but when you're uh, creating an object with no arguments then you don't do that you just go like uh, rectangle r and then semicolon now we can have rectangle um, t and then now we could have our say we could pass in 3 and 4 as the length and the width so there we called our constructor with two doubles and then we could have rectangle uh, C we could have pass in uh, 4 and 5 and then we could pass in blue like that so we have three different instances of the rectangle class and each time we call a different constructor each, uh, each time we call one of our um, overloaded constructors and you don't always have to pr you don't uh, have to provide a constructor that has uh, no arguments you can just get rid of this and have two constructors like this so you can also have one constructor we can have a lot of constructors and um, there's also a, another type of constructor and that's a constructor that uses an initialization list so to show you that I'll just get rid of this one and yeah I'll put it up here so um, rectangle and then double W uh, double L and double uh, sorry color C now an initialization list is basically a list that follows a constructor um, which calls the constructors of different objects of the different member variables so um, yeah so to create one uh, after the constructor all the arguments you put uh, a colon and after that you can just call the constructors of all the different uh, member variables like length we call the double constructor on length and pass in L and then we can call width and then pass in W. And then we call uh, the color constructor, color, and then pass in C. So basically, rectangle takes all of these uh, arguments and then it goes on and calls the constructor for length and passes in L, which sets length to L, sets width to W, and sets color. Uh, to whatever C is. And then now our actual function body doesn't have to do anything because, um, yeah, because everything's done here, all the initialization, all the uh, setting values and stuff. So it's basically the same as if we had gone and done uh, just basically what we did before. It's the exact same thing except it's just, you know, easier to use, it's faster, and yeah. And there's also another use for uh, a constructor, and that is if you have uh, pointers within your class, dynamically allocated pointers, um, you would typically allocate the memory for that within the constructor. And uh, when the object went out of scope, um, the deconstructor would kick in and then uh, deallocate that. So that's just to prevent memory leaks and stuff. And so, yeah, uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, rate, um, if you have any questions about this uh, or any other C++ topic, uh, please feel free to leave a comment, and uh, or you can message me on YouTube, and I will do my best to help you. And yeah, thanks for watching.